Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how sperm cells, nerve cells and muscle cells are specialised to carry out their functions. Now all of these are animal cells. We've already seen the structure of an animal cell in a previous video. This diagram shows you a general animal cell. Animal cells can look different to this depending on their function and that's what we're looking at in this video so let's get started. Here's the first key idea that you need to understand. Most animal cells are specialised. In other words, they've got adaptations which help them to carry out the particular function. When cells become specialised, scientists call that differentiation. So we're going to look at three specialised animal cells which are each adapted to carry out their function. We're going to start by looking at sperm cells. The job of a sperm cell is to join with an ovum, in other words an egg cell, and we call this fertilisation. During fertilization, the genetic information of the ovum and the sperm combine. So let's look at how sperm cells are adapted for this process. Just like any animal cell, sperm cells contain their genetic information in the nucleus. However, sperm cells only contain half the genetic information of a normal adult cell. And we're going to see more on that when we look at reproduction in a later video. Sperm cells have a long tail which allows them to swim to the ovum. They're also streamlined to make this easier. Now sperm cells are packed full of mitochondria and these provide the energy needed for swimming. Finally sperm cells contain enzymes which allow them to digest their way through the outer layer of the ovum. Okay the next type of cell we're looking at are nerve cells. I'm showing you a picture of a nerve cell here. The job of a nerve cell is to send electrical impulses around the body. Looking at the structure we can see that nerve cells have a long axon. The axon carries the electrical impulses from one part of the body to another. The axon is covered with myelin. Myelin insulates the axon and it speeds up the transmission of nerve impulses. The end of the axon has synapses. Synapses are junctions which allow the impulse to pass from one nerve cell to another. And finally, the cell body of the nerve cell has dendrites. These increase the surface area so other nerve cells can connect more easily and I'm showing you another nerve cell connecting here. Okay, the last cell we're going to look at are muscle cells. Now the key feature of muscle cells is that they can contract, in other words get shorter, and I'm showing that here. To do this, muscle cells contain protein fibres which can change their length. When a muscle cell contracts, these protein fibres shorten, decreasing the length of the cell. Muscle cells are also packed full of mitochondria to provide energy for muscle contraction. Now one important point about muscle cells is that they work together to form muscle tissue and we're going to look at that in more detail in a later topic. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on specialised animal cells in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Ok so hopefully now you should be able to describe how sperm cells, nerve cells and muscle cells are specialised to carry out their functions.